question. North Star has been around for about 20 years uh, in the Bay Area. You know, it started sort of alongside with Zetuna, um, which used to be Zetuna Institute back then. Uh, Zetuna moved to Berkeley, uh, and then they kind of stayed there. But eventually, about four, four years ago or so, we ended up buying a campus. And what I want to do today is I don't have a lot of details or a lot of big word presentation. So I just want to show you some pictures of, of the school, the environment, because I think one of the most important thing about the school is the, the spiritual environment, the, the, the nurturing environment that we provide. We have a beautiful campus in Hayward. It's about 15 minutes from here. Very small, you know, and humble uh, beginnings and sort of kind of grown from there. Um, I mean, just parents who are just kind of getting, getting together to create an environment for the schools because they understood the value of Islamic education. And this is what, uh, you know, this is sort of where they started from. And, um, and I think most of you guys are here because you understand that there is a need for that balance between the spiritual education, the religious education, and the, the, the regular education, right? Because it's all about balance at the end of the day. So this is our new campus. I mean, we were right now at about 170 students. Um, this is the maximum capacity that the campus can handle. So Alhamdulillah, that shows you how much demand there is uh, for us. I mean, we have some waiting lists for some students. Uh, we go from pre-K all the way to eighth grade. Um, and uh, by the way, my son graduated, my youngest son graduated from North Star about four years ago, and he's starting college this year. So, uh, so this is the campus. Um, just kind of a big view. As you can see, there's a basketball court. There's a sand pit over there on the on the top side. The at the bottom, this big big um, building is the office building and some classrooms. There's a weird room upstairs. Uh, that's where the students start every day um, <clears throat> with the with the prayer. You know, one of the one of the best things. Um, I had a, a lot of struggle with my son convincing him to go to North Star. Uh, we kind of tussled a lot, and he was trying to convince me how bad a financial decision it was because the Pleasanton school system was free and it's good schools and, and so on and so forth. Um, what I'll say to, uh, is, though, um, when he went there, I think the first year they, uh, he memorized Surah Yasin, which I don't, I can't. You know, if I try to memorize it, I cannot. And to me, that was worth the, all of the money. So, <clears throat> and then they, they had to memorize a number of other surahs, like Surah Kaf. Um, and then I think he, he, I don't know if he finished memorizing, but most of Surah Rahman as well. So, so anyways, I, as you can see from the students and the teachers, it's like a wholesome, Islamic environment, you know, what we are focused on is really about creating that balance between the spirituality, the mental nourish, uh, uh, nourishment, and then the education itself as well. So um, I will stop here. I think I'm pretty much over close to my time. I'll just give a couple uh, yeah, updates, yeah, yeah. Um, And one, one thing we pointed out that we've kind of reached our maximum capacity. We are actually looking at um, increasing the school size. Um, so we're going to be going in front of the planning commission, inshallah, trying to expand the school size. Uh, so we'll definitely need the community support because uh, we're not just increasing the school size, but we're also going to beautify the campus as well, too, because that's one thing about, I think, our Prophet yeah. that he loved beauty and, and beautifying something. So inshallah, one of our goals is to beautify the campus and make it much more friendly and nicer, uh, even better. And at the same time, increase the campus size as well, too. Um, and, and one last thing I just want to also just point out in terms of Islamic schools. I think when we first started, a lot of people were saying, okay, we're just going to put our kids in Islamic school because you know, they're just afraid of the environment. That's what's out there outside. And they're saying, it's okay, however, the educa academic education is. But alhamdulillah, you know, now we've gotten to a point that our academic education can compete with probably most schools that are out there. We've got students that have graduated from North Star that have gone to Berkeley, they've gone to UCLA, even graduated from Stanford. Uh, I think one in University of Chicago. So different, you know, they, they you know, if you want 
academic, alhamdulillah, we have academic, and we've got religious, we've got the balance of both worlds. Uh, so inshallah, alhamdulillah, we're getting there and, and even, you know, c competing with the academic schools as well too, not just in terms of religious. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, uh, I mean, if you have any questions, just reach out to either one of us. Uh, I will also share offline. We didn't get a chance to put it in the presentation, but our principal's uh, email address or phone number, if you guys, if anybody is interested in it, um, because it's not just this year, it's the next year as well. Um, so if you are interested, get your name in there, go talk to the principal, and, you know, and hopefully, inshallah, next year, we'll find, find a spot for you guys. All right, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. All right, next up we have Peace Terrace Academy. Sister Hamara will be coming up here.